Dead Summer and It's Spider Time in Kansas Some people are scared to death of these arachnids, but they're not to be feared. In fact, if you relax and observe, they become quite interesting. You understandably might not want them in your house, but outside where they belong, they have an important role in nature. And they are fascinating to film. Many are colorful. All produce silk, though not all make webs. All are venomous, and many can stun and immobilize even dangerous opponents like bees and wasps with a single bite. Their venom also liquefies the organs of their prey so that it can be sucked in as liquid food. Kansas has many kinds of spiders. Orbweb weavers have poor eyesight and they daily build complex silk and traps to catch flying insects. At the slightest vibration, they charge out and swath their victims, making escape impossible. Then they kill and eat at their leisure. Other spiders have excellent eyesight and agility, and they hunt by stalking. They pounce and grapple with large prey, sometimes even other spiders, quickly subduing them. Large meals prepare female spiders for laying eggs. These may be placed in silken pouches or in special burrows. Some young spiders stay with their mothers for a time, while others hatch and disperse on their own. The largest spiders are tarantulas and fishing spiders. These can eat small mice, minnows, and large insects. But even these big spiders are relatively harmless if they bite a human. Spiders do not seek to bite humans. Even common black widows in a natural habitat are not dangerous. Spider bites are usually defensive in accidental contact. So watch for them, stay a respectful distance, and learn about these fascinating summer creatures. I'm Mike Blair in the Kansas Outdoors.